My Trip to the Hospital by Mercer Mayer. Little Critter is copyright by Mercer Mayer, and it's published by Harper Festival, a division of Harper Collins. We were playing soccer, and the score was tied. I ran and kicked the ball as hard as I could, but the goalie was in the way. Which makes a lot of sense, because that's how you play soccer. Goal! Shouted Tiger. We won! Ow! I screamed. I hurt my leg on the dentist's assistant's son. <laughs> Coach, take the whistle out of your mouth before you start running. That's annoying. My leg hurt a lot, but I hardly cried at all. Only 22 minutes. Last time it was 23 minutes. Don't worry, little critter, said Dad. You'll be okay, said Mom. Geez, Mom, lighten up. I'm not dead. My little sister's sniffing her hands. An ambulance came. I was put on this skinny bed called a stretcher, and then I got carried off the field. Will this stretch me to be taller? No. The whole soccer team waved goodbye, or they all had a question. I just assumed they were waving goodbye. Mom came with me in the ambulance. I held her hand because she looked a little scared. If we're all animals, what the heck are these guys? The nudist colony? They're all naked. Please do not touch anything. Yeah, Mom, stop touching me. I decided to mess with my mom. Oh, hello there. My name's Little Critter. Who are you? Please stop that. When we got to the hospital, I got to ride on the stretcher all the way inside. It wasn't as fun as it seemed. Mother Goose here kept dropping her feathers all over the floor. She just keeps staring at me. She hasn't said anything yet. A nurse listened to my heart with this thing called a stethoscope. Stethoscope. Then she let me try the stethoscope on Mom. Wow, Mom, your heartbeat sounds like when I bang two rocks together. The nurse gave me a big lollipop and told me I was very, very brave. I don't understand how I can be brave eating a lollipop, but okay, I'll take it. The doctor came to examine my leg. He tickled my toes. This may hurt a little, he said. It sure did, but I took a deep breath and counted backwards. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 2, 2, 1. And then it was over. I was dead. You have a broken leg, little critter, he said. Do you have the right tools to fix it? All I see are used popsicle sticks and somebody's heart. The doctor nodded. Then he gave me a cool sticker that said Little Champ because he said I was a real champ. Well, yeah, I won the game. I already know I'm the champ. That's what the C stands for on my shirt. Dr. Toucan's nose spray. I didn't know they made Fruit Loop nasal spray. This nurse has still not said a word. She just keeps staring at me. Next, I went to have special pictures taken called x-rays. The nurse took the pictures with this big machine that could have been on a spaceship. Maybe it was on a spaceship and you guys stole it. She said the x-rays showed all the bones in my leg, but she kept missing. She got a picture of my shoulder and my hand and then my whole body. You know, Super Critter has x-ray vision, I told the nurse. That means he can see through stuff too. Just like this machine. She still didn't say anything. Man, you're a hard one to crack. When she put the x-ray machine over me, I waved goodbye to my mom. Goodbye, mom. This is the end for me. After that, it was time to get my cast. The doctor started wrapping bandages all around my leg. I feel like a mommy, I said. Why are your hands all sweaty? A little while later, the nurse came to check my cast. She started blowing in my face. I said, stop it. She said I could go home soon. But first, I had to learn how to use my crutches. I said, that's okay. I'll just have my dad carry me everywhere. My cast sure was heavy. It almost made me fall over. Jeez, what are you trying to do? Break my shoulder now? My mouse dog was waving me like I was an airplane. I know where to go, mouse dog. But I kept trying. Can someone please get that for me? Finally, I got it right. All I have to do is stick my tongue out. Good job, little critter, said the nurse. Now I know why you don't talk. Now you can go home. Little sister and dad picked us up. My mouse dog was so happy he threw a crutch in the air. Dad, you look so proud that I broke my foot. Everybody wanted to help me with my crutches, but I told them I could do it myself. I walked all the way to the front door and I barely slipped once. Mom made spaghetti and meatballs. 
my favorite dinner in the whole world, and I got to eat it in front of the TV. <laughs> I was sure happy to be home. Grandma looks like she poked her head out of a flute. At school, everyone said I was a hero for breaking my leg. We won the game all because of you, little critter, said Tiger. Yes, but at what cost? My summer is ruined. Then all my friends signed my cast. Bun Bun ended up drawing a picture that I had to change into something else later. By the time they were done, they ruined my cast. It looked like a rainbow. Well, that's not too bad. And that, w that was it. That was the time I broke my foot by kicking a big hippopotamus. I hope everyone's having a good summer. I'm all better now. Don't forget to go outside and play. Just don't kick hippo hippo hippopotamuses. And if you do break your foot, don't worry. It's not the end of the world. It'll get better. And besides, you get to eat a lot of buschetti. Okay, I love you. Bye. I'll see you later. Bye. Love you. Bye. Have a nice summer. Bye. Hey, did you enjoy this video? Let us know by leaving a like. That would be so heckin' sweet. Did you wanna be cool and follow us? Then hit the subscribe button. It's totally better than not subscribing. All the cool kids are subscribing now. Here's a graph to prove it. And if you wanna know when more videos come out, hit the bell icon. That would be a good reminder. And make sure to check out the links in the description. That way you can support the creators of these great books. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Okay, bye.